We're back now with a story that's all new at 11. Scientists and members of Congress say a chemical coming from tires on the road are responsible for poisoning water. A study shows fish are dying after being exposed to it. WUSA 9 investigative reporter Nathan Baca spent years revealing how toxic chemicals make it into children's playing fields. Well, he has brand new reporting tonight on this whole new concern and what it could mean for you. We've been warning viewers these past years about lead inside the recycled crumb rubber in local playgrounds. Now there's a newly studied chemical present in these tires, making some members of Congress raise the alarm and its possible impact on our food chain. A chemical called 6-PPD is literally what happens when the rubber meets the road. Tires are made with 6-PPD to protect against ozone in the air, which can crack tires. When 6-PPD eventually leaks out of the tire, it creates 6-PPD quinone, which scientists at Washington State University say leak into streams and lakes. In the Pacific Northwest, those scientists and members of Congress say salmon and trout are dying from exposure to 6-PPD quinone. The salmon suffocate as their blood thickens. They flail near the, near the surface in fuel attempts to get oxygen. Tires aren't just on our roads. Lab testing commissioned by advocacy group DC Safe and Healthy Playing Fields and WUSA 9 revealed elevated levels of potentially toxic lead in the rubber mats made from recycled tires underneath playgrounds in DC and Prince George's County. Both areas say they removed crumb rubber testing high for lead. 6-PPD quinone is found in recycled tires used for playgrounds and sports fields, according to the Tire Manufacturers Association. Our members are committed to making safe, efficient, reliable tires that safely transport hundreds of millions of Americans each day, and they are very concerned about this issue. So far, no testing has been done to determine if that chemical poses a threat to children playing on these recycled tire playgrounds and fields. We've alerted D.C.'s Department of General Services, Prince George's County Parks, and the Chesapeake Bay Foundation to these new scientific findings. We'll stay on top of this developing investigation. Nathan Baca, WUSA 9.